cylinder recordings were invented in the late 1800s and popular through the 1930s. We have about 7,000 field cylinders and each one of them is unique because they were cut in the field for each individual recording. This is actually the second largest field cylinder recording collection in the United States after the Library of Congress. Ethnographers would go out into the field and they knew that these languages were becoming endangered. So they would want to go out and preserve uh, these languages as well as their stories and their music and things like that. Now, a lot of these formats are very difficult to play back. So we have specialized gear that's uh, designed to uh, play them back as accurately as possible. The cylinder machine that we have here at IU is unique. Um, it is the first of its kind actually out in production. It has a laser that will measure the distance between itself and the cylinder. So a cylinder, when it spins, it's not perfectly centered. So it has a wobble to it. What that laser does, it gives us a measurement to basically make up for that sort of wobble. When we play it back, we get a nice smooth uh, surface to play on. It is a lot more precise than other types of machines where you might be adjusting by eye or not at all. We'll get a, a cylinder, then first we assess whether it can be played. We put it onto the machine and we use the laser to make measurements to make sure that it's perfectly centered. We have a good idea of what is in these collections, but we don't know exactly what's in these collections yet. There could be languages, there could be songs, there could be uh, significant things that uh, have been overlooked, or maybe never even heard from since they were recorded. It's, it's really uh, a, a special thing to be able to hear these things and then also make them accessible to everyone else.